That was a good face. These. <laughs> All right. Okay. A lot of times turtling is not this funny. Be serious. Oh, right now it is. That's a spotted turtle there that we caught on Thursday. What's this, Sunday? Yeah. Yes. In the one that we affectionately refer to as trap number 18. And if Nathan turns that around, you could probably see that he's got a radio stuck to the side of him. Actually, it's not a radio. It's a transmitter. But if you walk around here with a radio receiver, you could follow that turtle around for six months and see where he goes. Um, because spotted turtles travel around quite a bit from one wetland to another. Um, sometimes they feed in one wetland, breed in another one, and overwinter in another one. And who knows what other kind of traveling they do in the meantime. So anyway, for a semi-aquatic turtle, oh, I think he just peed there. Yes, he did. Um, for a semi-aquatic turtle, and they really cover a lot of ground. So we'll be able to follow this guy around for a while. And this is a part of a study you've been doing with? Yes, we've been working with uh, Hila Ecological Services, which is a company that does exactly this kind of thing. Um, right now we're in the Warren Weld Wetland, and I believe it's Essex County Greenbelt property. Um, so far, between this project and another one that's just a mile or two from here, uh, in the last two months we've, we've found 15 spotted turtles, and uh, we haven't put radio transmitters on all of them because we don't have that many radio transmitters, but I think this is the fifth or sixth one that we radioed. Um, and if you could turn that so we could see how it's marked. If we didn't radio them, we at least marked them. If you go, if you look at these little shell things, I forget what they call these, um, but you're over here, left of center is the tens column, and right of center is the ones column. So we've got a ten and a five, so this is turtle number 15. And that was just marked with a, a file. And uh, it doesn't bother the turtle at all, and you'll be able to see that and identify that turtle for uh, quite a few years, and that turtle is probably about 15 years old now. Uh, that makes it an adult. I think we went through this. It was a male. I don't know if the camera was running at the time. And um, uh, one of the ways you can tell that is it's very concave here. This allows them to climb up on top of the female's back for breeding. And also, I don't know if you can see that there, but the cloaca, kind of the business end of a turtle, <laughs> and I just scared him. Just hit it. But. Uh, is outside the shell. On a female, the cloaca would be closer to, or be inside the, the shell. Um, let's see. Spotted turtles are kind of um, a species of special concern in Massachusetts because uh, their populations are declining so badly. A lot of people that have maybe lived in this area for 50 years or more can tell you that uh, there used to be quite a, quite a few more of them around, very easy to find. And, and now they're not nearly as common as they once were. Uh, uh, part of the problem is they seem to require very unpolluted um, water to be in, 